travelling to Belgrade, Serbia, Tottenham playing away in the Champions League yet again. Welcome back to another video. Now this video takes me on the trip to Belgrade, Serbia. Really looking forward to this trip. It should be a very different trip to what I'm used to. So here we go, come on you Spurs. So just parked the car at Heathrow, heading to the airport now, the short journey on the bus. Um, just a reminder that Tottenham have played three Champions League games so far, a 2-2 away draw at Olympiakos, a home defeat, that 7-2 home defeat against Bayern Munich, um, and of course we beat Red Star Belgrade 5-0 a couple of weeks ago, um, so let's hope for a very similar result, although I can't see it this time around. Um, but three points in the Champions League would be absolutely fantastic. Um, let me know in the comments section below what your score prediction is for the game. Tottenham's away record has been abysmal throughout 2019 so far. We haven't won an away game in the Premier League since the 20th of January, since beating Fulham away 2-1, that Harry Winks last uh, minute or 93rd minute winner from that Nkudu cross. And um, we've only won two away games um, since that game. Um, in competitive competition and they were both in the Champions League one against Dortmund the 1-0 win with Harry Kane scoring and then the other one that dramatic win at Ajax that 3-2 win that Lucas Moura hat-trick to put us in the Champions League final so only two away wins in competitive competition since the 20th of January which both came in the Champions League um, I'm very hopeful of Tottenham getting uh, a good result at Red Star Belgrade. I think it's going to be a very, very difficult place to go. Um, Rumours are going around that Hun Min Son uh, might not travel um, to Belgrade, so um, watch this space. <laughs> Just arrived at the hotel in Belgrade, staying right in the city centre. Uh, from what I've seen of Belgrade so far, it looks very, very nice. And the people are extremely friendly. So uh, all I've been doing is getting uh, messages all day from friends and family saying, please be careful out there, please stay safe. Uh, but all seems well at the moment. And as I say, everyone seems extremely friendly. Um, Tottenham travelled out today. Hun Min Son was on the plane. I know there were rumours saying they didn't know um, what his mental health was like at the moment after the uh, Everton incident with Andre Gomez um, on Sunday. But um, really glad to say that he has travelled. Harry Kane has also travelled as well because he missed the uh, the Premier League game against Everton at the weekend with a virus. Um, Eric Lamella is unavailable. He is being assessed um, ahead of the Premier League game on Saturday against Sheffield United. And Jan Vertonghen is also unavailable um, until after the international break. So he will miss this game and the Sheffield United game. And we all know that Hugo Lloris is out until at least um, early 2020. But the big news um, in the last hour or so um, is that... Um, Hun Min Son's red card um, from Sunday has, uh, has been deleted. Um, it has been, um, the, the decision has been overruled, overturned, and uh, he will now not miss um, the three games that we thought he might. So I'm absolutely delighted that, um, that that has been overruled and Hun Min Son is available for those games because, let's face it, we would really, really miss him. Um, he is a key part of the squad. So 
So let's start with a few facts. The last time Tottenham played in Belgrade was almost 47 years ago. It was in the UEFA Cup, December 1972, and Red Star Belgrade won one nil. Red Star Belgrade have never ever lost in the European Cup or Champions League in their four home games against English opposition, winning two and drawing two. Um, and I also might add that they beat Liverpool at home last season. We're all used to Pochettino making so many changes and I think that he will do exactly the same for this game. Of course, we played Everton on Sunday. Um, this is Wednesday's game and then we are at home in the Premier League to Sheffield United. Um, Giovanni Lo Celso hasn't started a game for us yet. I would fully expect him to start in the Champions League against Red Star Belgrade. I really do. I think that um, Juan Foyth as well, he hasn't started a game for us all season. I think that he will come in. Carl Walker-Peters could even get a game. I think Danny Rose will be back. I think there will be lots of changes made yet again by Pochettino. Um, some for the good. Um, we've got to be confident. We beat them 5-0 a couple of weeks ago um, at our stadium. I think it will be a very, very tough place to go. I think that once uh, the Tottenham players are in there and, and all of us fans are in there as well, I think it will be, uh, be quite daunting at first. Um, and I think that once they start singing and uh, and get going um, as they do um, because it is one of them um, daunting places uh, to visit as a fan and as a player um, but I think that we should get the job done I think we'll uh, I think we'll win tomorrow and I'm going to predict uh, a 2-1 Tottenham win let me know uh, your score prediction in the comments section below Absolutely delighted that Harry Kane will be back for this Champions League game. Of course, he missed out um, in the Premier League against Everton on Sunday. He has scored a staggering 18 Champions League goals in 22 appearances, and that includes four Champions League goals in his three Champions League appearances so far this season. Red Star Belgrade have played a total of 21 home matches in European competition in their history, winning 11, drawing 8 and losing 2. One of those defeats came against Arsenal a couple of years ago in 2017. Earlier today, Maurizio Pochettino and Harry Kane were in the press conference talking about the Red Star Belgrade v Tottenham game in the Champions League tomorrow night. Maurizio Pochettino was talking about the atmosphere inside the stadium and said, I think for everyone it's a new stadium to play, different atmosphere, and we hear that tomorrow we're going to live a very good experience. Harry Kane said the atmosphere is going to be very tough and very hostile, but once we're on the pitch we have to focus on ourselves and do everything in our power to win the game. So the other game in Group B tomorrow, Bayern Munich are at home to Olympiacos. That is a 5.55 kickoff UK time. Um, Bayern Munich are currently on top of Group B. They have won three out of three. They have uh, scored 13, let four in, and they are sitting top with nine points. Tottenham are currently in second. We have won one, drawn one, and lost one. We have got four points. Red Star Belgrade are third. They have won one and lost two. They have got three points. And Olympiacos are bottom of Group B. They have drawn one and lost two, just with one point. As I said at the start of the video, Eric Lamella is missing for Spurs tomorrow night. And that is a shame because in our 5-0 win, which is, I might add, uh, is our biggest ever uh, win in the Champions League against Red Star Belgrade. Only played a couple of weeks ago at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. But going back to Eric Lamella, he had a hand in three of Tottenham's five goals. Um, one goal and two assists. Lamella has been directly involved in eight goals in his eight Champions League starts for the club. Scoring two and assisting six. So it is a shame that he isn't playing tomorrow.
I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please let me know in the comments section below your predicted lineup and your score prediction for tomorrow night. Come on, you Spurs.